And as these workers continue to recover from the pandemic and now inflation, many have taken a hit in their savings. 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo live on Sahara and Durango, where one waiter is sharing how the IRS is putting a dent in his budget. Alicia. Hey Dave, yeah, Roma Deli and Restaurant has been a local favorite for years. Employees survived the fallout from the pandemic, but now they have a bigger problem. The IRS wants waiters to pay more money on allocated tips. For Diego, the lunch rush at Roma Deli Restaurant on Sahara is his favorite part of the day. He's busy and that's a good thing. After his pockets and tips took a hit during the pandemic. Oh, it's been a nightmare. Only like you make like 500, 550, you, you can tell the difference. Before the pandemic, Diego was raking in about two grand a month in tips alone. Now he's still falling short. The business is going a little bit up right now, but the tips between 700, 800. While business is increasing, inflation is too. Which means Diego isn't seeing the money he used to. And now the IRS has raised the tip allocation to a higher rate after reducing the rates by almost half during the pandemic. I feel bad because it's hard to live right now because the IRS tried to take more money from you. But we don't make the same money as was on the before the pandemic. So it's been really hard to live with this money right now. Especially we can tell the rents go up, everything is going up. So it's really, really hard to live right now with this money. Well, back out here live on Sahara and Durango, Diego has been working here at this restaurant for seven years. He is so grateful. He understands that the economy is not the best right now, so he's just appreciative of any type of tips that he does receive. On Durango and Sahara, I'm Alicia Patillo reporting. Thanks, Alicia.